So, hello. I'm sorry I've been gone for a bit. Got kind of sick. But um, today I kind of want to mix a f two things that I've been teaching. I can teach you guys about time. And hopefully if you guys have been paying attention, I've been teaching you all about you. So how like, you look at you, you understand you and everything. So now let's put those two things together. All right. So now let's just focus on like, you know, your timeline. So, all right. Your start, your, your end. Let's just say you're going, let's just say you're here right now. Let's just say you have traumas you've been through, things you've gone, things that happened to you, things that you may have done that you may have to go through, and then things that happened to you that you had no thing, like, to do with, no thing, nothing to do with anything, but it had to happen, and now it's a part of your character. Now it transformed your character, and now it's like you're right here. The, the thing that most people don't understand when they have to go back and make themselves whole is they have to go back and grab those pe the, them, themselves in those pieces of time that they forgot to heal like let's just say this is you healing from maybe you're not friend your friend not giving you a hug when you were young or like inviting you to a birthday party this is a, a breakup and then now this is you like right now so you have to literally go back from this point go to understand this then get yourself together then you're right here in time go back again go back to that first beginning moment that betrayal that happened to you then again go back and you'll be when you sync up in where you are in time you'll be way more aligned so whatever any other trauma comes it's not a separation from you it's something you're going through but it's not a separation from you that's why trauma is trauma when trauma is formed, this this kind of like happens in the brain. When you go through something bad, you have your left side of your brain and your right side of your brain. When you go through something bad, this has some writing on it from Yu-Gi-Oh, but never mind it. When you go through something bad, this is what happens. It's kind of like your brain makes like an, an opening, a spot for where that trauma may lie, for where that, that, that stuff may lie. So in this little like, in this little area here, what can be there could be the thing that can be taken from you is you, clearly, clearly when it's ripped, that's you, that's you being taken. But the thing that can also be, something can be miss, it could take your place, meaning anger can take your place, resentment can take your place, pride can take your place, ego, all that can take can take that place in that moment, and that's what it and. And on, on a level, therapists do actually get this. Therapists actually do help people with that. They do actually help people put back together the right and left brain and everything. Because you need, like, that little circle that is caused in the middle of your left and right brain. Like, not physically, but spiritually, metaphysically, feelings. You can feel it, the trauma, that anxiety. That is just, it's just like... You could say it's a black hole. At that point, it's a black hole. The only person who can stop the black hole is the center of the black hole, meaning it has to collapse in on itself, then close itself, then it will heal itself. You know what I mean? And that's where you come in and aid, where you have to go. You have to go into the dark hole, like literally. Like you may think it's funny. A lot of people may think heaven may be in the light. But I find it so funny that just, just I, I think it's funny because God a lot goes into the dark and makes everything light. So meaning, even even if things are dark, you should go in there, you know, regardless of what's in there, and make it light and find light to make it, or find some light in you to make it light also. So you're able to see, you're able to expand in on that space, you're able to like um, use the thought form or whatever you want in that that space 3d realm 4d realm 5d realm you know what i mean so and the more that you go back and understand yourself too the more you'll understand like situations coming or situations that weren't able to like you weren't you weren't over to over you weren't you weren't able to overcome so fast but now it's just now it's the back of a hand. 
now it's kind of like, okay, so why am I getting so easy at doing this, doing this, but it's harder to do this, do this? Because you, you're going back, you're picking up certain traits of yourself, you're picking yourself up, but you're not picking your whole self up. A good uh, a good video I'd say everybody should watch would be that one video of um Naruto, where he's at the waterfall of truth, and he had to literally make peace with himself. Every move he made, his clone made that, or his dark self made that same move. Everything he was thinking, he was thinking. But at the end, all he had to do was just hug himself and actually like be like, yo, I'm sorry. I actually realized even though you were the thing that went out and did things that I didn't want to do, you still did it for me, for my protection. And that's the whole point of our darker self. Our darker self, we're trying to so quickly get rid of our darker self. We're trying to so quickly get rid of it and go to the light. But at the same time, that that shadow that dark self of ourself has been the thing that has been protecting us for so long the true meaning and true understanding of it is bringing that to the light and bringing it into peace yeah so like literally the darker half doesn't want us to just like forget about it imagine imagine if you had a friend who was there for you every single moment of the day every single moment then the second you turn into a big shot you say yeah bounce I don't need you no more. How do you feel? That's exactly how your darker self, your shadow self, your evil self, if you want to say it, that's how it feels. It's still a part of you. You still have to understand it. A man is not a good man because he can go and conquer the world. No, no, no. A man is a good man because he can go do all these great evils, but in spite of that, he chooses to <laughs> moss, calm down. Go for the simple things. Go for life. Like, you know what I mean? That's what makes a man great. Not because he's some big, big shot guy. He can go around and do whatever he wants. No, no, no. If, if he can do that, and then he chooses not to exert on that, and he chooses to actually do the complete opposite, which is teach love and guide people, which is what the true definition of being a man and a woman is, if you actually see it. And you can see how in today's society, that's flipped completely upside down. I got nothing to say about that, but I'll talk to you guys next time. Hope this makes sense. Let me know if you guys like this one.